Hi, I'm David Haidt. I'm the Director of Software Product Strategy, one of the Directors of Software Product Strategy at Research in Motion. We look after BlackBerry. And today I'm showing you the playbook, right? Um, this is our entry into the media tablet market, and it's quite a powerful entry. Actually, the first thing I'll start off is, first thing people want to see in tablets are things like video. So I'm going to go ahead and open a video. You see how intuitive the user interface is on this device. Um, I'll just pick something from the home screen to play. Um, so this is just a 1080p source video that we have um, um, been given by the BBC. Um, so we're now just playing a video. So, gee, is a tablet just good for videos? I mean, obviously BlackBerry, you think enterprise and work. So, you know, while that's playing, I'll just put this into a window and go ahead and open my spreadsheet, right? Um, I can uh, open up my spreadsheet. We handle all the office document formats. It's not just document view, obviously. I can go ahead and edit. You can see our soft keyboard popping up to show. Uh, I'll put a big number in to show that we'll recalculate the, the field. So mm -hmm. there it is, uh, an enormous number in the unit sales forecast. But uh, <laughs> uh, um, you know we have that capability. Now notice how seamless I'm kind of moving back and forth between the applications. Let's say I wanted to do a, a read a PDF or look at a PowerPoint. Um, so I can go ahead and do that. So I pulled up this document uh, and now can go through the PowerPoint. And you notice how my, my finger movements are controlling everything. And if I wanted to switch applications, I can just come off the bezel mm -hmm. and do that. I can do that again, mm -hmm. right, quite clean. So you're looking at a whole new range of capability here that um, you know generally I don't think you've seen before. Okay. Now the other nice thing is we have standard interfaces on this device. So flipping on the edge, um, we have a micro USB. Okay, this is a micro HDMI connector, mm -hmm. so uh, HDMI is supported on the device, and this is for a magnetic rapid charger. I can charge either through micro USB or through the magnetic connector. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want, I can quickly plug this into a projector. Mm -hmm. um, can you just go through some of the, uh, you'll be able to use the IBM apps through the browser? Yeah, so, well that's an yeah. excellent point, I forgot to mention that. The browser that as we designed it was, was specified, and again this is a pre-release version of the software, mm -hmm. is to meet the needs of a desktop, or the equivalent performance to a desktop browser. So as you can see, as I go through things, it's, it's pretty quickly. Um, so let me, and this is not a mobile version of, of what I'm viewing on, on the, um, uh, on the web pages. Um, not uh, Lotus. I'm just going to do a Google search for that. Um, uh, of course, when you're shooting a video, I have to go and get, find something. There we go. Um, so it's going to go ahead and load that web page. So now we're into the IBM Lotus Connections web page. So you think about a lot of corporate applications today. Um, what a lot of organizations have done over time is most of their applications are actually running in the portal view mm -hmm. on the web. They're not really applications residing on the device at all. And again, this is this is loaded in, uh, with knowledge that there was a PDF already being there was a spreadsheet, but also more importantly, there was a video playing. So you have true multitasking capability to handle all of these activities seamlessly and I can move back and forth very easily. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, Lotus Connections, um, all the other Lotus and IBM products are available via just a web view, mm -hmm. just run on the playbook like they would on a desktop. Okay. And what about battery life? Well, battery life, that's a great question. Um, you know, uh, y there isn't a standard yet for measuring uh, tablet battery life, so I can't quote some sort of specification for that. Okay. But essentially, if you, do, if you design a device uh, and only get about two hours of battery on it, you, you're not going to make the mark. You've got to be in that eight to ten hour minimum range, and, and depending on your usage, how long the screen's on, how much data you're communicating back and forth, how many applications you're simultaneously running, but, you know, boil all that down in an average day, if, you, if their battery should last eight, ten hours, your full, the full workday essentially that, that you're using it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, this device has been with me all day. It's, it's happily just running fine, okay. uh, all its capabilities. The video did finish playing, so mm -hmm. I'll reinitiate that again. And will you be shipping any accessories like a Bluetooth keyboard? 
with the device? Um, good question. Uh, I, I don't think final product packaging decisions have been made, and that may vary from market to market. But mm -hmm. from a keyboard perspective, you obviously saw evidence of the soft keyboard. Um, that keyboard can be customized depending upon the application. We have micro USB, so you have the chance for a micro USB accessory keyboard. You have Bluetooth, you have a Bluetooth keyboard. Mm -hmm. Or if you've also got a BlackBerry, um, being that uh, these two via Bluetooth could talk to one another, I could use the, the keyboard on the BlackBerry. So you've got a lot of data input options for the device beyond just the soft keyboard. Um, the one last point I'd make about soft keyboard uh, that I kind of find interesting, it's, it's, just a, it's just an application, and of course it's going to change to its final version, but this kind of highlights, this is a simple calculator. You, you would go ahead and do something on that calculator, but let's say I want a scientific calculator. Okay, how about a tip calculator? How about a unit conversion calculator? But that's an example of a soft keyboard that's, that the interface kind of customizes to the individual usage. So um, you'll expect to see that more and more in soft keyboards. Okay.